Okay, so this is one of the most asked questions in the official Mythic Heroes Discord server whenever a new player joins. And as you can see from the title of the video, it is about hero summons and hero copies and how they work in this game. Now, after your initial pull of a unit, of any unit in the game, you need 26 copies after that initial pull to get them to the max level ascension. Now, what is ascension? Gaining copies to upgrade your unit is called an ascension. Your ascensions has tiers those tiers being elite legendary mythic celestial and infinite and within each tier there are three levels those levels being elite one elite two elite three legendary one etc you need one copy for every ascension level up until legendary three where you will not where you will now need two copies to go to mythic one up until celestial three where you will now need three copies to reach infinite one until the max ascension of infinite three after you pull a unit for maxed ascension for a maxed ascension character it goes to the jade shop to be converted to jade shop currency which i will delve further into in another video um, after mythic one is achieved you have the option or the ability to awaken your iconic weapon on that unit which we will also discuss in a future video because this video is about heroes specifically now I'm sure you're wondering what exactly ascending your units do, what does it provide? Well for starters it provides a significant stat boost, overall stat boost for that particular or specific unit. However the mainstay or the main thing it provides is a max level increase or level cap increase per level, not tier but every ascension level. Now since we discussed what ascending your units provides and since the main thing it provides are a level cap increase we can now talk about level sync now what is level sync level sync is first off very hard to describe or explain it's not really difficult to understand it's just a bit difficult to explain but level sync is having all your units be the level of your lowest level unit of your top five highest level units yeah a bit a bit difficult to grasp from that first explanation i know but what does that mean this means that you will only need to always focus on five units never more because the rest of your units will always be the exact level of your lowest level top five levels now when i say you don't need to focus on others i mean focus on the levels if you are building other units you need to build them but again that's that's content for another video so let me give you an example just so you have a knowledge of what I'm trying to say. I'm just going to use level 1, level 2, level 3, level 4 and level 5. Now you have 20 units. Your highest level units are a level 5, a level 4, a level 3, a level 2 and a level 1. Now every other unit you have is will be level 0 because you haven't touched any of them in levels yet. But because you have a level 1 which is the lowest level of your top five levels everyone who was level zero will be level one so as you level up the one so let's say you level up level five to level six level four to level five level three to level four level two to level three and now you level up level one to level two every other unit will also be leveled up to level two as well that is below your top five levels that's as simple as I can make it. I know that's a bit drawn out, but that's as simple as I can make it because I realize when people join the Discord server and they ask about this, they lose their minds when we try to explain it, even though we explain it pretty simply. And honestly, the game explains it simply to you, but I know not everyone is going to grasp everything thrown at them immediately. Okay, so the last thing I would like to speak on that directly deals with heroes is enhancement. Uh, as you increase your divinity level, you will have the ability to increase your enhancement level. Now, divinity is something I would like to have a video dedicated on because it will take too much or too long to explain in this. It's not like it's a very difficult system to understand at all. It will just be a lot of information to put in a video that has to deal with the heroes summoning themselves or leveling up your heroes themselves. So, divinity and divinity level and how to go about with your divinity will be talked about in a future video most likely i'll link it under this video when i actually make that video however long away that is but what you need to know at present is enhancement level is capped at 30. now the last thing i want to touch on is the summoning sanctum i'm not gonna delve too much into it 
I will be making a dedicated video to summoning in the future, in the very near future, because that is, you know, kind of the mainstay or the main thing of this, of this game, you know, summoning. Uh, but what you need to know is the drop chance. I just want to touch on that real quick. Now, there are, I think, four ways of summoning any summoning sanctum. Standard summon, limited summon, friendship summon, and faction summon. Yes, four. Now, for the standard summon, the limited summon, and the faction summon, they all have the same drop chance. For URs, it's 0.3% drop chance, and SSRs are 4.7% drop chance. Now, those chances are of getting a unit. So, 0.3% drop chance of getting a UR, meaning it's a random UR, but that's the chance of getting it. And SSR, same thing. Of all the SSRs, you have a 4.7% chance of getting one of them. From the standard limited and faction summon but the limited has a kind of a gimmick where you should be fishing in it because you have a much higher chance of getting a unit you specifically desire but again we will talk a lot about that in a future video i just want to touch on it now so you have an understanding of it but for friendship summons it's a much lower chance because this system does not have pity uh, you play gacha games, you're playing this game, so I'm going to assume you know what pity is. If not, that is unfortunate. That would take way too much explaining, so I will be skipping over that. Skipping over what pity is. In Friendship Summons, you the URs are 0.1% drop chance. That is abysmally low, so don't expect URs often from Friendship Summons. And SSRs are 1.5%, which are, again, abysmally low. Do not expect them often, if at all. Now, the pity for standard summon, limited summon, and faction summons, where you can get pity, the URs are 200 pearls, or two, yes, 200 pearls are pity on those summons, on those, yes, on those um, types of summons. And for SSRs, the pity is actually 30. The game is very generous with this. As you summon, every 30, if you go 30, sorry, if you go 20, 29 pearls without a single SSR, on that 30th pull, you are guaranteed an SSR. It's random, but you are guaranteed it. Every 30 pulls is a guaranteed SSR. But again, this is the bottom of the bar. I did not touch much on the summoning sanctum. So just look out for a video for that in the future. I may link it under this in case you're watching this a few months down the line. But everything I mentioned in this video will be standard throughout. It was this way a year ago when I started playing. It's going to be this way a year in the future because these are mainstays. These are not going to change. But I hope this video was helpful i hope it made sense and look out for others because i'm gonna do the full new player guide experience but we'll end it here